What's up my YouTube family? In this video, I am going to show you how to make your very own... No, no, get down. And my cat is trying to get on my back. What's up my YouTube family? It's your girl Tanya, and in this video, I am going to show you how to make your very own 100 envelope challenge box using materials purchased from the dollar store. Uh, let me show you what I've got. I've got some, this is called contact wallpaper, peel and stick wallpaper from the dollar store. This is vinyl paper. They come in the rolls from the dollar store. And these are just stickers that I bought to decorate the box if you'd like. This is another box that you can use if you'd like. This is the box that I made before. If you haven't checked out that my very first video on the 100 envelope challenge, I show you how to make this box. Um, this came from the dollar store as well. And also these are envelopes from the dollar store. And I have a roll of tape. This did not come from the dollar store. I just had it here at the house. It is, I believe it's just regular packing tape, but you could probably use like duct tape, but it's packing tape to add extra strength. So if this is something that you are interested in, please stick around and I'll show you how I made my very own 100 envelope challenge box. So you guys, this is what you're going to end up with is these little envelopes here that you will put into whatever receptacle you would like it could be a basket it could be a plastic bag it could be a shoe box it could be i don't even care it could be a sock as long as you put it away in something and don't touch it these are the envelopes that you'll end up with so Let's get to it. So what I did is this is a box of just regular envelopes. And I believe they are, it's, it says number eight, three and five eighths by six and a half inches. It's 80 count envelopes. And I got these from Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. Of course it wasn't a dollar, it was like a dollar 25 now but they're the, the, they're the smaller ones. So what I did was I took, and I already have one that I cut. This is the sheet of contact paper or um, peel and stick wallpaper. I got this from the dollar store, it was $1.25. Um, they have different patterns. That's what the back looks like. I don't know if you can see that. That's what the back looks like. They have different patterns and I chose this one. And so they're peel and stick and I've already gone ahead and I've already, you know, made one just to make sure I can, you know, tell you guys. So what I did, I took the envelope, turned this over to the back side and I traced. This is very simple, you guys. I have a pencil or a pen and you trace. You take and you trace the shape of the envelope on to the back because what you're going to do is cut. You're going to cut the exact shape of the envelope out of this contact paper. And you're going to end up with two little envelopes out of one envelope. So I'm tracing the shape of the envelope. And you're going to have to do this twice because you're going to put it on each side of the envelope. So I traced it. So from this one envelope, you're going to get two envelopes. You're going to get two envelopes from this one envelope. I feel like that's a great size to be able to put your, your money in there. So I traced it and I did it twice. So do the same thing, trace it twice and I, I really hope you can see this. I'm gonna try and get closer. Let me get closer. Let's see if I can get closer. Closer. Let me see. 
So what I did was I traced it. Trace. Trace the shape of the envelope. With a pen, a marker, whatever you have. I traced it. And like I said, I did it twice. So here's the front and here's the back. Now what I'm going to do is cut. Cut what I just traced. And I hope you can see this. Okay. Trace and cut. I feel like I'm in kindergarten again. So here's the front. And there's the back. Stick that to the side and I'm going to adjust the camera again. So here we go. Now, both of these are the, are the size of this envelope. See that? They're the size of this envelope. That's what I did. My intention is to stick it right on top. But before you do that, seal the envelope. I'm going to seal the envelope. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. I'm sealing the envelope. Seal the envelope. And this is, this is just what works for me. You can do it whatever way you want to, but it worked for me this way. So I sealed the envelope. And what I'm going to do is take this, this is that piece of wallpaper I just traced. I'm going to peel off the, the back part to expose the sticky. That's sticky. And I am going to stick it on the back of the envelope. See there? I'm going to stick it on the back of the envelope. as close as I can to the edge. It doesn't even matter. So now, there's the envelope. That's one side of the envelope. The other side is still exposed. So now, I'm going to stick the other piece that I just cut. So I'm going to peel once again, peel. And I am going to stick. I don't know if you can see that. Stick, peel, and stick. As close as I can. I don't have a laminator, so this is without a laminator. So now the envelope is encased in that peel and stick wallpaper. And so you want to get two little envelopes out of this one. You have to fold it in half in the middle, in the middle, like such. Fold it in half like this so you can get it like even. Or you can just take a ruler and, you know, cut down the middle. So I am going to fold so that's what I did before. Fold it in half so that I can find the somewhat middle part of it. And it makes like a little crease right down the middle. Crease right down the middle. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut down the middle of the crease. And that will create two envelopes. Here is envelope one. Let me get it in there. Envelope one, if I can get it open, there we go. Envelope one. And there is envelope two. So we just made two envelopes. See that? Just made two envelopes. So, and also what you could do, if I added, added structure or security, 
is go over the top of it with this tape. Like such. Put this tape over top. If you can see that. Oh, bam. Tape over the top. I'll put another piece over here. I just ran a piece of tape over it. Ta da! And there's your envelope. Now, also, what you could do is let me finish this. What you could do also is get yourself some stickers from the dollar store because that's how you're going to get your numbers. The stickers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're going to stick it on each envelope, your sticker, one, two, three. Or you can take a Sharpie and write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. However you want to do it, it's your envelope. So you can do this with the contact paper or you can do it with the... Um, you could do it with the vinyl paper. This came from the dollar store as well. It's vinyl paper. They have all kinds of um, prints, colors. This is glitter, glittery pink. And they have all kinds of shape, not shapes, but colors and patterns. That's how I made this envelope. This envelope is a totally different shape than this. This is what I used on my first 100 envelope challenge. I made this as well with this vinyl paper using the same procedure. I don't have a laminator. I just went over the top with some packing tape. But it's shaped totally different to go in this box. So. So yeah, this is a different shape and it was meant to go in, it's meant to go in this box. If you haven't watched my first 100 envelope challenge video, I'll link it up top either to the left or right and go take a look at it. And I talked about how I made this, but um, to give you the cliff note version, this came from the dollar store as well. This box looked like this when I first bought it. It came from the dollar store and all I did was find some these are stickers. They come in a sheet of stickers. And sort of like this. Sort of like that. So you can decorate your box. Um, see, I have some silver glitter vinyl paper that you could. They come in so many. I have like so many colors of this. I have purple, I have pink. I have gray, it comes in black. Um, this is the vinyl paper it comes on. It's vinyl permanent glitter paper. And it's usually hanging on the pegboard in the dollar store. So you can make your envelopes whatever color. It's meant to be fun. Um, this box, here are the envelopes. There's a hundred, well, there's a hundred envelopes in there. And you can either use this box. They have bigger boxes. They have bigger boxes. This is a bigger box. You could do the same. It's the same concept. You could buy the, the stickers and decorate your box like that. So it looks nice and pretty. You could put the vinyl paper on your box so that it's like a glitter box like gray, see there, or pink. They have all kinds. They have like rainbow and leopard print. They have so many different ones that you could um, buy. Now this box, this is way big and I, I did that on purpose so that my envelopes would fit. 
Because once you start to stuff money in there, the envelopes take on a whole, a whole nother shape. And I ran into that problem with this smaller box. Um, once I started stuffing, I mean, it'll fit. You just have to fold your money really, really small and tiny. It will fit. I ended up, um, once I started really getting into the challenge and stuffing my envelopes, I couldn't fit my envelopes in here. And so what ended up happening is the envelopes I stuffed went into another box. Let me show you. Let me show you. I'll get it for you. The envelopes I stuffed went into this box. It's like a little ammo cannon box that you can attach a lock to. So I started here and ended up here because it, I wasn't folding my money right. So the, uh, the empty envelopes I left in here and the money, the envelopes with the money in it, I, I put into another different um, box. But that just goes to show you that any box will work. Mine just happens to have a thing for a lock. Uh, so yes, this box, and this is actually a fantastic box. I, I don't anticipate that this will, if, if you got this size box, um, I don't anticipate that that would be a problem. I don't know what size this box is. It doesn't say. It's not very big, though. I don't know if you can see that. It's not very big. It's not even like a shoebox size. But either way, either size you make your envelope, whether you make it that size or that size, they should fit in this box comfortably. So... See, here's all my envelopes. If I were to put them in here, they would fit comfortably. They, fit, they would fit comfortably. So, there you have it. I'm not going to keep you too long. Like the pastor said, church, I ain't going to keep you too long. And then there's that one person that say, take your time, pastor. No, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Anyway, if you do the 100 envelope challenge, please. Don't be discouraged. Do it your way. There's no set rules. If you do it weekly, if you do it daily, like if you pull an envelope is what I'm saying. Um, go and watch my first video and I explain it, like the concept of it uh, more in detail. But this video was more about making the box. So go check out my other video and I plan to start a new challenge um, starting here in January, the 100 envelope challenge, because I just finished one. Well, I didn't finish it. I unstuffed it and I ended up saving $4,157. Watch that video as well, um, where I unstuffed my 100 envelope challenge. So if you found value in the content of this video, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next video, don't forget to be awesome. Don't forget to be great. Amazing things will happen.